focused on the analysis of internal flows, namely any flow that is bounded by solid walls. We started with identifying the entrance region for laminar and turbulent flows with the aim of defining where, in a pipe, we can apply the relations for fully developed flows. We introduced the concept of head loss caused by the viscous effects in simple or complex piping systems. The head loss can be estimated as a, a pressure drop along the pipes and it can be categorized as major or minor loss, depending on the nature of the physical phenomena that generates it. Major losses are connected to straight pipes or channels and they are due to the friction between the fluid and the walls. Those losses are directly connected to the surface roughness of the pipes. Minor losses, instead, are generated by flow separation, recirculation and secondary motion in pipes. The minor losses can be studied using a black box model where the head loss due to a specific component is based on the geometry of the component and extrapolated from a large set of experimental and numerical data. The different topics we discussed give us the tools to design complex piping systems and estimate the relative head losses.